What's up guys, Travis here with BikeBandit.com. We are loaded up extra stuff on the bike today. And uh, yeah, should be pretty awesome. So newest additions of the bike, we got some stuff from Moscow Moto here, the Reckless 10 bag, and then their, uh, what's this one called? The Tracker 10 on the back, and then I actually strapped my backpack on here. Why not, we're gonna be on the road for a while, get some extra airflow through the jacket. And yeah, looking forward to it. So let's hop on this thing. We'll talk more about it on the way up there. All right, guys, we are on the road here. We got so much fun stuff going on. We're heading to Mammoth Lakes from here um, in wherever the hell we are, uh, Johnson Valley area, Oak Hills. So I'm on my KTM 790. We got uh, Nate up there, Nate Dog, whatever you want to call him. He's riding my Tenere 700. And then in the mirror back there, we got our other buddy, John Bulldog. I don't know why the hell these guys like dogs so much, whatever. But that's our crew for this weekend. It's going to be insane. So much fun. Um, we got everybody loaded up on trail techs here so we can keep track of everyone if we zoom in a little bit, a little bit more. You can see them all spread out there on the buddy tracking KLR 650 and the Tenere 700. So pretty freaking sweet. Hop on Highway 395 here. And we're gonna be taking this pretty much all the way to Mammoth Lakes until we hit the 203 that goes into town. So initial impressions, guys, street riding so far. I have this Dunlop 606 on the front right now versus the 908 that I'd been running, which is now on that bike. So anyway, this thing, as far as the street tire, is so much better. The 908, don't get me wrong, fantastic tire in the dirt, but definitely a little bit sketchy on the street. So, so far, 606, huge improvement for street riding, especially on those rain grooves here on the California freeways. So this is actually Nate Dog's bike right here. It's a KLR 650. It's got a little bit of engine work, but it's got these big old boxes. It totally matches his backpack and everything else he's got going on this weekend. And then Nate Dog on my brand new Yamaha Tenere 700 right here. Look at this thing. Absolutely awesome. It's a good looking bike for sure. He's digging it. He told John, he's like, hey, if you want to come, you can take my KLR, but do not ask me to trade bikes at all. He said, I'm going to ride this one all weekend. You're welcome to come, but I do not want to ride the KLR at all. So that was kind of established before we even got out for this trip. So This will take us up to Randsburg from Red Mountain, a little town we were just in. And uh, there's all sorts of cool dirt biking out here. But like I said, this town we're going to go into was one of the original mining camps. And they got a cool jail. There's a bunch of saloons that are open, or they were before COVID. I've pulled over here before, but I didn't have a bike. I was on my van, so I just kind of want to go up in here and see what this all is. With the smart way, went and turned around and got a run at it on that bitch. So we are pulling into the town of Randsburg here, which I was telling you about, and uh, a lot of this stuff is still open. Looks a little rundown, I know, but there's a couple bars mixed in here. There's a nice fire department, and uh, you can stop, and get some food, hang out with some of the people that live here, I guess, if you want. Cool little fire department there, pretty modern. Looks like they built that recently, but uh, yeah. So this is the old city jail right here. 
every time I've been here before, this has been locked up. I'm going to stick my head in, see what's actually going on in here. There's one little guy hanging out. And, woo, good looking lady there. So yeah, imagine being locked up in here, 120 degrees during the summer here in Randsburg. Do you need to tilt it over or anything? I retarded, I'll put it on off. <laughs> yeah, off doesn't work. Need it on reserve. Had me a little worried right there. I wasn't sure what was going on when the bike died. Lone Pine, Bishop, Reno. We're not going all the way to Reno, luckily. I bet you more than anything that John has that KLR all the way floored right now. Everything she's got. Ooh. That was too close on that box for me right there, within probably six inches. Looks like we got another friend back there now. Here we go, pulling into Bishop. This is uh, probably the biggest town around here. I mean, Mammoth isn't even that big. So if you're coming up 395 on your way to Tahoe, this is going to be your biggest stop around here. Ba-ding! <laughs> oh man, I haven't had a street bike in years, so I haven't done that in a million years either. All right, here we are, the turnoff for Mammoth Lakes. We're going to hang a left, and then it's just a couple miles up the road, and uh, we're in town. Three, two, one. All right, guys, start of day number two. It's Sunday here in Mammoth. Beautiful little condo. And beautiful bikes by the way if you park next to a hill like this pay attention getting off i stepped off last night <laughs> fell down bike was a little heavy to pick up from being inverted essentially so that was fun uh, there we go so we're gonna head over to good life cafe here in mammoth and i actually had someone meet us or sorry hit me up off instagram yesterday saying hey i live up here can i come ride with you guys so we have someone coming to join us for the day. All right guys, wrapping up breakfast here at Good Life Cafe. We got John, Nate, and we got a local boy, River, joining us for the day. He hit us up on Instagram yesterday, said he wanted to go ride. So we're gonna go hit some trails and uh, have a good one. But first we gotta top over and get some gas and uh, see where the day goes. Fire up, hell yeah. Oh man, that thing was still flooded. It was shooting fuel all over me. Wipe you guys off there. So this area right here is called Shady Rest, kind of a campground here at Mammoth. There's a little skate stuff back here and neat little area. This is going to take us out to some dirt roads. And once we hit the dirt, I'm going to head that way towards Highway 395 and then we're going to head up to some mountains and maybe go to June Lake on the back roads. We really don't know where we're going here. Um, So we're still coming out to Shady Reft Rest. Um, I believe this is going to drop us off to the Man Mammoth Scenic Loop somewhere around there. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm not really sure what the plan is for today. I'm just going to ride, going to eat some dust, and going to have a good time. time. That sounds good.
<laughs> John on that KLR. This might be all the water we get to see for this whole trip. And back into the dust. Come on, baby, get some traction. So the further we get out here, the less dusty this pumice actually is. I don't know if it's because it hasn't been driven on as much, so it's not as broken down, but it's getting to where we can actually see a little bit. Just a little bit, not a lot. Where's the road go? There it is. Just cruising down this stuff. It's pretty bouncy. A lot of chop on it, but this TBT suspension is just eating it up. gonna try this one more time uh, traction control press and close throttle throttle closed release button oh, I got to do that off got to hold the throttle shut all right some traction the drone wasn't up because this has been very sloppy
Yeah, first time my traction control wasn't off. Oh, oh so you're fighting it, huh? No, I just wouldn't put any power down because the tire was spinning. Uh, it allows a little bit. It's got nine settings on this thing. Damn, I got so so just even on one which is the lowest it still doesn't want to let it just eat so you got to go into off and like hold that down and close the throttle and then release the button oh, the then if you stall it you have to reset it but normally it just stays in good setup all right so everybody made it up this except for bulldog i'm gonna blame that on him and not the bike this stuff is so soft right here Well, that was cool. I mean, everyone made it except for Bulldog. Yeah. So I guess we can go find an easier way up. I want to go check that bull out. <laughs> this is definitely a little different than like Loop of Broken Dreams on the 300s and the crazy stuff that we like to go do. But uh, it's challenging in its own way. I mean, it probably doesn't look like much, but these big bikes in this soft sand, it's, uh, it's a little weird. I like it though. It's been nice to get on the bike, put a few hundred miles down this weekend. And woo! and uh, try and keep her upright through stuff like that. This dust is crazy though. Huh, what is going on with this thing? Ignition on. Starter, start. It just died coming down the hill. <laughs> I think we got fuel boiling over right now. Or maybe we lost a fuel line. Yep, I knocked the fuel line off. All right, at least we know how to fix that. That was crimped on, crimped on there, so fuck. This came off of here from the filter, so I'm gonna have to try and get that back on. and put a hose clamp on instead of that crimp piece that was on there that came off. But the whole fuel, the whole skid plate was full of fuel down here. You can see how much it was leaking out, but glad we didn't have a fire. All right, that should be good on the fuel line now. So hopefully it stays on for the rest of the trip. Take a better look at it when we get home. All right, man. Good climb on that one. Hell yeah. yeah. Bike running good? Oh yeah, running great. What'd you say? It was 94, 95? 94. 94 CR 250? Yeah. How long you had her for? Uh, three years, I believe. Nice. I think I've had her since I was 14. <laughs> That's All awesome. All right. He made it. Yeah. Nice.
<laughs> yeah. And, dude, that was Were you awesome. bombing too? I was on it, dude. That's awesome. I, I looked down, it was like 45, 50, not super fast, but. Fast enough. Yeah. It's too bad it's all smoky up here right now. Otherwise, this little loop right here around June Lake is absolutely beautiful. There's a lake down there right now. Red and dirty, got to run a block on that license plate for him. All right, man. It was a pleasure. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you. And we'll uh, catch, catch you on the next one. Yeah. All right, so we went from four riders down to two. Uh, John Bulldog, he uh, decided to take the road back to the hotel. His back's hurting or something. He did break it in a few spots like six months ago, so not going to argue with him on that one. And then River is gone with his parents. They're taking him back, so me and Nate are going to cruise down here for a little bit. Hop on dirt road, take that back to Mammoth. And uh, yeah, go back and take a quick nap. And then we're gonna head south, hours and hours and hours, back to the house. She has got to crash at least once, right? <sighs> All right, back up and rolling. 